I've been a medical student in London for four months now. And even though that doesn't sound like a long time, the high workload, huge variety of content and constant examinations have definitely taken their toll. But today is different. No assignments, no lectures, no exams. I don't really have a plan for today, but I do know what to seek out for. I decided to do some light studying, so I packed my bag and headed for central London. The journey was about 45 minutes, so to pass the time, I just relaxed and listened to music. There were some nice views on the way, like Westfield. At one point, it was the largest shopping centre in Europe. My first destination was King's Cross Station, which is quite nice, especially St Pancras International, a station where you can hop on a train to Paris. After looking around for a bit, I found a quiet area to look for a place to work. It didn't take me long to find the perfect place. The Welcome Building contains a museum focusing on science, medicine, life and art. But I was more interested in the reading room. It was quite busy, but I managed to find a comfortable spot in the corner to do my work. At Imperial, we have to do a patient satisfaction survey as part of our GP placement. My partner and I had already collected the data, so today I just had to transfer the data from paper to a spreadsheet. It took me about one and a half hours to enter all the data. After that, I went to find something to eat. King's Cross has undergone major development in recent years, attracting some big names. I looked around for a bit and then decided to eat something healthy. And you cool, tat it up, cover rooms, different vibe, you know ain't pro But you ain't even flexing, and you ain't gotta try to hard Number one fan, you say you applaud For my final destination, I went to a place that seemed like a good area to work with all my Apple equipment. I 
Again, I found a seat in the corner to do my work. During this session, I copied out all of the lectures I had completed into a spreadsheet to help me plan my revision. It took me a while as there were over a hundred lectures to copy. But then my aunt called me and that was the end of my productivity. As I headed home, I thought about how different and strange this day was compared to usual. I had travelled to lots of new areas and did practically no work. But that's okay, because at least the day looked good on camera. At least I hope.